Hey guys, Andrew here from Single Apps, and today I want to talk to you guys about defeating the procrastination monkey. What is a procrastination monkey? If you look at the description below, I've got a link to a TEDx video which I recently saw, which this video is pretty much paraphrasing that, which is about procrastination, worry, procrastinate, and how we can get around it. Basically, the idea is that in our minds, there is a logical thinker at the helm of the ship. Now this logical thinker sees deadlines and plans out actions to complete a task before a given deadline. Now this task might be a uni assignment, some homework, cleaning the house, anything in life. And let's just say, for example, you have a uni assignment and you have four months to complete it. Logically, you would split out the workload evenly across the four months. But you and I both know that this doesn't happen. Days go by and you slowly push that workload up to the last day and all of a sudden you complete the task. So why does this happen? Well, at the helm of our ship, in our minds, we've got that logical decision maker, but also beside us, we have the procrastination monkey. What this monkey does is it takes over the helm of the ship and goes, oh, look over there. Let's watch some TV, that'll be fun to do. Let's go to McDonald's, get some food and then I'll get to work. Ah, oh, it's a great day today. Let's go to the beach, save the work for tomorrow. So this monkey hijacks our ship in our mind, takes it over and then steers it off course and we don't complete a task for ages. So what gets the ship back on course to complete our task? Well, there's one other thing that this procrastination monkey that you don't know about, and that is, it hates the panic monster. Now the panic monster comes out of the closet, just before a task is due, scares this procrastination monkey away, and then your logical decision maker is at the helm of the ship again, and then you complete your task. So that's a well and good, that's taken to the procrastination right, wrong. The problem is this panic monster only comes out when you have a deadline. And the thing is, if you're learning app development, or you're an entrepreneur wanting to start up your own business, there are no deadlines. You can be like, oh, I want to learn how to develop an app. In six months, I want an app on the app store. But there's no one forcing you to do it. There's no risk of failing uni, not getting paid at work if you don't just complete this task. It's pretty much risk-free, except it might be a bruise to your ego and a letdown on yourself, and that's it. And because of that, you don't have the panic monster coming out at these times. So you need to learn to control that procrastination monkey. You need to tame it so your logical decision maker can be at the helm of your ship and get these tasks completed. So what's a good way to go about this? One way I like to visualize is imagine your life. Now your life, if you divided each week up into a single box, and then put that on a piece of paper, your life all of a sudden doesn't look that long. Now from being born up to 18 years, that's a good period of your life. And then let's say from being 60 to your 90 or whenever you pass away, that's the latest stage of your life when you don't have as much energy to complete tasks and you're not gonna get on with things as easy. So like me, you're probably in the prime time of your life right now, somewhere in between that stage. Each day that goes by without completing a task, you're scribbling off one of those boxes and just pushing it later and later into life, what you want to achieve. The problem with this is, if you don't complete something now, it's gonna get harder to achieve these things in life and the payoff's going to be less. You'll have less time to enjoy those goals you achieved to be able to reap the reward, rewards from your inputs. So keep this chart in mind whenever you're thinking about procrastinating. Don't let the monkey take control of your ship. Get that logical decision maker back in the chair and set out a plan for the goals you want to achieve and what you want to get out of life. We're all not perfect, I still procrastinate. It's just something I try and keep in mind, like, oh yeah, maybe I should only watch one hour of Netflix today 
and then I'll code some apps up, go to the gym, or do whatever, instead of just lazing around for eight hours and be like, oh crap, I've done it again, I'll leave it to tomorrow. So take care guys, I'll see you next time.